Lilith is taking yet another crack at trying to fix crystal technology here in rise of kingdoms. And today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions and constructive feedback on this update that is coming soon to the game. What's going on guys. Cheers. In my last video, I don't know what I was thinking, but I accidentally cut out the cheers from the beginning and I got comments on it saying redo the video and look, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Just at least cheer me back in the comments down below. Okay. Throw a little beer emoji in there or something. I don't know. Anyway, lost kingdom, crystal acquisition and immigration rules. Feedback from governors who have taken part in lost kingdom has suggested to us that some of the gameplay features of lost kingdom are unsatisfactory it's not some it's just crystal tech like that's it don't don't act like there's a whole list of things we're talking about here it's crystal tech okay as a result we are planning to make improvements to certain elements of lost kingdom these changes will come on online in march and consist of the following crystal acquisition difficulty levels for the new season of conquest event trial of ko karak or cow karak will be unlocked as progress is made in lost kingdom governors can gain crystals season coins and other rewards by taking part in this event that's cool new events are good i like new events in the game it keeps the game fresh it gives us more to do that is good especially because we can get some nice stuff from it nice discounted legendary commander sculptures and equipment material choice chests legendary will be made available in the season shop so that is good as well um i feel like most people just didn't buy these from the season shop because they would just save them up for you know like city skins or like accessories right like i feel like those are the more important things governors can spend crystals to receive speed up items in the new season of conquest event give and receive this could be cool depending on when this comes around um if you're in the middle of kvk and this comes around and you're not gonna know if you need crystals or not then whatever but if it comes at like the very end then that's cool because it gives you a reason to continue grinding for crystals throughout kvk even if you solidified or win or loss so it's nice complete challenges in the new season of conquest event crystal quest to increase the event level and gain crystals okay so we're seeing uh so far they've mentioned two new ways to get crystals which is good rewards have been changed for the season of conquest event eve of the crusade governors can gain crystals through this event so that is also really good you can start to gain crystals pretty much like right before you go into kvk uh buffs for crystal technologies have been fine-tuned please take note of the new effects once they've come online um this is uh th the effects of bullet number six here are completely determined on how fine-tuned they are um if everything is reduced by two percent then who cares this is not a change that is you know it's negligible right um if these are big changes then that's awesome so um again jury is out on this one i'm not going to say this is good or bad because we don't know yet reduce the difficulty of killing level 41 to 45 bar patrols allowing governors to gain crystals more easily that's good i know as like bigger players it's easy to forget that like sometimes you might lose to a barbarian if you don't have like a max richard and all that stuff right um remaining crystals will not be converted into gold and will instead be converted into season coins at a fixed proportion that is also good gold is like you could just get gold in home kingdom i know it's rare but still i'd rather have season coins so that's awesome we hope these changes will allow governors to gain crystals more easily and have a better season of conquest experience the changes will be implemented in march points one through seven will only take effect after a new lost kingdom starts whereas lost where lost kingdom is already underway the changes will not take effect we'll send another detailed announcement okay that makes a ton of sense here um this is good again uh, more ways to get crystals is good discounts on sculptures and materials that is good all this stuff seems good depending on how big of a change they actually make right so it, i think as a community historically we see these these males and we get excited right uh but usually we're let down uh i would say nine times out of ten we're let down so I don't want to get too excited about this until we see that it is actually a meaningful change um because just you know if history repeats itself then we won't it, this won't change anything and what's important is that what they talk about next is immigration and more restrictions that they're putting on immigration and i feel like every few months there's new restrictions that they're putting on and you know the last time they made it so that way if you if you migrate back you have to go through a kvk two and three and then get to season of conquest before you can you know you can't just jump around um and so they keep they keep changing the immigration system and here's my my thoughts on that right um primarily th there's two reasons right one um is that 
if you have a bunch of powerful players who've been playing for a long time and you immigrate back you're ruining that experience for players like if they're playing kvk2 for the first time for example um you're just going to crush them right and that's a horrible experience for them and so i can understand from a developer standpoint why you would want to limit that secondly I feel like they are unhappy that players are going back and playing KVK2 because they can't sell you crystal technology bundles in KVK2 because it's not there. And so I think with these changes, they're making it even more difficult to migrate back and play KVK2. And that's a major problem, right? And because we already know from the first eight bullet points that they've posted here, um, that people are still struggling with the crystal technology system. People are still unhappy with the crystal technology system, which is why there's a need for bullet point two here immigration, right? And so all of this is tied together. The real reason players are migrating back is to avoid crystal technology, right? So what we have here is a system where, okay, it's like, it's like Lilith baked a beautiful chocolate cake. It's a delicious, just the best best chocolate cake you could have imagined with the materials that they had and they called it kvk and everyone loves the cake and everyone's coming back for more and more and more and lilith is saying well how do we make it better and then they just take a bunch of warm hot chili filled with beans and meat and they pour it on top of the cake and they were like look we added something new it's called crystal technology and everyone's just looking at it like wait a minute you just you just fucked up the whole cake and they're like well, what do you mean it's still food you can still eat it and everyone's just looking at the cake like yeah but yeah but it's cake you can't just put you can't just you ruined the cake by adding something we didn't need and so lilith is looking at it and they're like well we can change it we can we can put like we can put icing on the on the chili we can put a couple like sprinkles on there it'll be fine right the problem is you don't need chili in a fucking cake that's what i'm trying to say you don't need crystal technology to make kvk good it was already good right and that's the problem they're trying so hard to fix a system that is inherently parasitic to kvk the literal only function the only function of crystal technology say it with me you know it's true the only function is to sell bundles that's what it is let's be real okay let a hey, it's a pay to win game let's just look at me in the eyes say it with me okay it's pay to win i know it you know it everyone knows it okay crystal technology is a cyclical system that you can never finish and you have to buy it every time that's the only purpose of that system it is right you can look at other pay to win systems like the equipment system right but in that way you can at least say that there's some sort of added value to the game it's a new thing to collect and you can get it over time and there's different pieces and there's synergy so there's some sort of strategy involved with collecting different pieces and like should you use the windswept set or should you use you know there's there's some strategy there and it adds a new mechanic to the game even though there's power creep and it's sort of pay to win or whatever crystal technology is just a subset of existing technology that's just temporary and you have to pay for it if you really want to max it out right and so that's the problem and and the reason that Lilith can't fix it they can't fit you cannot fix a parasitic system because it's not adding anything to the experience it's only there to take away unless you pay money and I don't know if the developers don't realize this or if there's like a disconnect between like the decision makers at the company who are responsible for the bottom line and the people who are like coding and building the game and who actually are passionate about the project I don't know if there's a disconnect or, or or like what's going on there but someone needs to tell them that crystal tech it can't it's like it's not it, it, by nature it's gonna it's gonna cause a problem whether it's a small problem or a big problem you can do whatever you want to try and fix it it's just gonna be a parasite that's that's the best you can do is a small parasite which is really not a great uh, goal to have for your end game experience but i digress okay i digress i feel like that should be obvious to whoever is responsible let's talk about immigration rules okay we've discovered that a number of governors have been using the immigration feature to return to new kingdoms during season of conquest the number of governors doing this is quite large because they do listen <laughs> they don't like your system it's not like rocket science okay you could literally solve this problem by just taking kvk2 copy paste it into season of conquest straight up that's like so easy like hey I just did your job for you like what, what like come on like move on to something else okay just just 
just say that crystal tech is dead in the water and just let's move on to something else okay i'll make your lives a little bit easier all right copy and paste it but you're not going to do that are you yeah you're not going to do that that's what i thought so anyway it's having a significant effect on the ability of governors in these new kingdoms to participate in lost kingdom events i already mentioned this this was pretty obvious we will be redefining immigration and changing specific immigration rules these changes are significant and large in scope so we'd be dividing migration into three types so there's cross season immigration there's same season immigration and then there's same region immigration cross season is when you just go back to an earlier version of kvk same season is just if you're both in season of conquest you just migrate to season of conquest or kvk2 to kvk2 etc same region looks like it's just within your own continent right the kingdoms that are around you so that makes sense as well basically what's important here is they're saying that if you're migrating back to a kvk two or three kingdoms in those seasons will be able to receive a maximum of 30 migrating characters per season so if you are a brand new kingdom you're going into kvk two the most number of players you can get is 30. so that's like one small alliance that's pretty much it so again it's just fewer players are going to be able to migrate back to a kvk2 at least not in a large group and this is just furthering making it difficult for players to play the game how they want to play and again i understand that it is crucial that new players enjoy that early game experience it is it's crucial for the game's health and i i understand that and i understand why lilith is making it harder for players to go back and do that but they should they should i mean just like recognize why just why are players doing it? why do players want to play kvk2 so much sure it might be an easy stomp out right like it may be just like 70 of you just go in and you just crush them because you have all these commanders and gear and that's that's one reason sure i understand that but the main reason is because the current options that are presented to them aren't as good right that's just that's literally what it is they, they are not enjoying the current options given to them they don't like season of conquest kvks so they don't play them and again you could remedy this problem entirely by just copying kvk2 and adding it as a season of conquest choice without the kvk tech and watch how many kingdoms pick it just watch and that sends the message loud and clear it like it's it's oh it's so obvious they have to know it's true and so the, like i'm left i'm forced to believe that the only reason that that's not the case is because they want to sell crystal tech bundles and look I, hey i get it okay it's a business it's a company whatever i just feel like there's already enough pay to win mechanics in the game but I, i'm a hey, i i don't know like it is what it is i think there's a there's a there needs to be a balance struck between free to play and pay to win i think crystal tech exceeds that line um i don't i'm not responsible for drawing that line so i'm just i'm just some dude giving you my uh, my opinion but i just think that unless these seven bullet points are dramatic and drastic in nature um this is going to overall be probably a negative a, like a net negative right it's just like if these aren't big changes then all we've really gained from this is a limit on large group migration which is not really good for the end game players so we'll have to wait and see um hopefully all these changes are big and good and like this is a step in the right direction and that would be awesome and i would be happy about that like legitimately uh full disclosure I've been playing way more Infinity Kingdom the last like week or two. Like way more. I've barely been logging into ROK lately just because it just it's been it's been I, I don't know. Like I just I need like a little bit of a I need like a little bit of a break. That's all. That's all. Okay. I'm not quitting the game. I'm I'm about I'm literally in KVK right now. So we're we're good. Okay. We're Gucci. We're playing the game. But straight up, like <laughs> it's it's uh you know, the game has just been it's been moving in a in a really in a direction that is just difficult for me to enjoy no matter what angle i tackle it from it's just ooh, like every update's just like ah that's fucking horrible why did why so again hopefully this is good uh all this stuff on paper looks great it's just hopefully it's, it actually makes a difference and then we'll see uh we will be getting tons of new kvk formats allegedly uh in, coming soon so hopefully a couple of those are actually good guys with that being said you enjoyed the video if you would like to hear my thoughts and opinions on these things make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video that tells me you want to see more of them 
of course if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video we're so close to 30k so if even if you think you're subbed go ahead and just check real quick for me and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace